And I did delve into the Johnny Manziel environment. I was going to say situation. It's really the environment of Johnny Manziel. I do think there are people who look at him as just a spoiled rich kid. Remember when he got the Mercedes? He's a spoiled rich kid. Well, he... Well, I think we first thought, oh, he must be getting paid to go to Texas A&M. And then we found out his dad had money. Well, he got a scholarship. So his dad had the wherewithal, the money, resources to get his kid a car. Got him a nice car. Okay. There seems to be this, you know what? We don't like spoiled rich kids. Well, they got it all. He's doing everything that we would do in college. In college, what do you want? You want to have money and women, right? Well, he had that. And then he got to go hang with Drake or go to Miami Heat game. And he was signing autographs. He was getting paid. Okay. Now, he got on the field, and you didn't know how much money he had in his bank account. If he was a spoiled little rich kid, he didn't play that way. So it, there seems to be this, it's personal with Johnny Manziel. It's personal with Jav- Jadavian Clowney. Isn't that interesting? Make it personal. Jadavian Clowney, uh, he doesn't want to play. He mails it in. He has no heart. What's his work ethic like? Okay. Johnny Manziel, spoiled rich kid. Yeah, he's not a leader. No, he's a he's an arrogant little bleep, according to Barry Switzer. I don't see a troublemaker. Let, let, let's look at the list of what would be considered troublemakers in the NFL. 